wasn't it just in that um, the uniform was a perfect choice. Mike was very proud of him. Um, you know, I was talking about him a lot when I knew him. As, uh, I was Blake's tennis coach in, uh, in high school. We don't have to make a joke about it. If we, we loved each other. We had absolutely nothing in common except maybe the tennis. I'm glad you mentioned it. He liked cats because that's I can now think of something else that we had in common. Um, in 1989, I know it's almost set up, in 1998-99 school year, uh, they let me be the tennis coach up here and uh, it was my second year teaching here and I knew all the kids that played tennis except Blake. I mean, I knew Blake. He was in my math class. And uh, I knew Blake as a kid with a weird haircut. <laughs> Who never did his homework. <laughs> and loved Dragon Ball Z. And David, it's one of these, it's one, he just happened to go by the college courts one day and he would see David and the guys playing and he stopped and, and asked David, could he teach him how to play or David asked him, vice versa, I don't know. And uh, David kept telling me, Coach, there's this kid named Blake that's pretty good at tennis. I've been teaching him how to play tennis. You know, Blake Coop. And I don't even think David knew his last name to start with because we never could communicate the fact that it was Blake Peacock. So finally we communicated, David and I, that it was Blake. Peacock. And uh, I'm like, Blake Peacock. A kid with a weird haircut who never does his homework, he just likes Dragon Ball Z. There's no way he's going to play tennis. Well, lo and behold, he played tennis and he was a very good player. Um, very good player. And in fact, um, uh, you know, for those first couple of teams on our own, uh, were very special to me. It was made up of a group of hodgepodge kids. They were from Philip Townsend, who was the valedictorian all the way down to Blake, and they, just, they loved each other. And, and uh, Blake was kind of the glue that uh, held the team together. He he nicknamed Philip Townsend Phyllis, and I used to actually, if, if Phil Mickelson is playing on TV today, I would say, there's Phyllis. Yeah, but you can't say it like that, you gotta go, Phyllis, you gotta say it like that. And I do that because of Blake Peacock. And uh, he nicknamed Henry Mullis Hank, and he called David Davis. And so there was a reason for all of that. I can't remember why, but um, I, I'm going to tell a couple of the stories. One of them was we went to Columbus to play one time, and, and it's very rare that, I mean, I, I can tell. I can look out at a match and tell if I'm going to watch that match. You know, if the kids got it that day, and, and if they don't, I'm not watching it. I'm gonna go. Watch. I'm gonna go find a match where the kids got it that day, and I'm gonna watch that and enjoy myself. And so I was really enjoying Blake play this match. The kid was better than him, and, and Blake was playing. But Blake was losing, but playing just sensational. Well, at some point, it was like he got down. It was like two to three. Somewhere in there, Blake decided he couldn't win that match, and he did everything that he could to irritate that poor. <laughs> He wouldn't, you know, after the point, he hit the ball into the corner. And just, I mean, he aggravated the field so much. And anyway, I had to have a little talk with him after that match. And then, they were such a group um, that I couldn't talk to them. I mean, I had to, to talk to them, I had to sit them down on the court. Okay. Um, I got that tip from Kerry Bacon, who's a friend of mine. Anyway, and so. We were talking one day, and they were, you know, either hitting the ball or hitting each other, blah, blah, blah. And so when I sat them down, and that, that kind of came to the routine. I'd sit them down to have a little conversation with them at practice. Well, one day, they were looking kind of funny at me, and, and somewhere from behind me, I heard something, and it was nuts ran, comes down on top of me and gives me an atomic elbow. Well, of course, I lied in and uh, drink and I'm uh, giving him the business and the whole time I'm doing that, I'm hearing this little Blake Peacock laugh behind me. And uh, it was Blake that had put up to this. <laughs> Probably the last, when Blake was a junior, um, we went and played in the court and I, I, I've never had the most warm, sincere, we played, we lost and we came home and we got off the bus and the most warm, sincere, when he got off that bus, 
and look me dead in the eye. And I have the most warm, sincere thank you from him for doing what I did for him that I've ever received to this day. And that's 24 years of coaching. He gave me the most warm, sincere thank you. And um, I will never forget that. I tell that story all the time. And uh, I love Blake Peacock. And I think one of the things that we actually did have in common was that we were we are both loyal to a fight. And we both cannot understand when that loyalty is not reciprocated and it bothers us deeply. And I'm very sorry and grateful that Blake has reminded me that the only person that we can count on is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. 